everybody, I'm back. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. I'm back again with another video. Oh, oh, I wish somebody can, you know, just make me a little rap song out of it with my little intro. Hmm, anybody? But anyway, no, I'm serious. But I'm here to give you guys my M New Year's Eve glam look. Okay, I'm just here to recreate it because, look, things was chaotic on the New Year's Eve, baby. I was trying to make it into the New Year, okay? Because guess what, baby? Everything went behind schedule, all right? So, I had to get my hair done, all that. So, anyway, I'm here to recreate the look. It was very simple, very simple. So, I just really wanted to bring in a New Year on, you know, on a look, a look. A look how you spell how would you pronounce look? I'm trying to pronounce it with the L E W K look uh, uh, look Don't know. Anyway, I was trying to bring y'all a look, okay? That's all I was focused on. Hey got me I had to go through things with, you know, getting the people at the post office together because they was playing with my outfit. But you seen the picture? It kind of got to damn it. <laughs> if you haven't seen the picture, go ahead and follow my Instagram right here. Okay? So you can go and look at that picture and like it. Okay? Because baby girl was here to serve. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into my New Year's Eve look. Um, lately, I've been doing my face routine first. Before anything, before brows, before eyeshadow everything it's been all about face gets me together i'm still playing with the colors though because i don't know exactly what my color is really so this one is in the shade kenya okay it's kenya so you guys can see that all right and it's very warm toned. I think this would have been my summer shade maybe. And I'm not really warm. I have like a neutral undertone to me. But I can have some warm aspects about myself, you know. So basically I use this foundation because I do. Um, I like how flawlessly it makes my skin look. Even though if you haven't checked out the skin already. It's already pretty good, okay? And if you're interested in getting you some good skin too, great skin, check out my last skincare video. I'm going to drop the link below or somewhere, a little link or something up in here somewhere. So check that out. But yeah, foundation is perfect, guys. Um, I'm going to pair it with the Milk Hydro Grip uh, primer and I actually used this on New Year's Eve to try it out and baby let me tell you something face was sitting okay sit when I say sit it was here to stay it was sitting so I did use the hydro grip all over my face and I like that it it gets a little tacky okay so once i spread it i really don't like spreading it i like really applying it with a brush but once i spread it i like to pat it into my skin because if you could tell can y'all hit it <laughs> so it actually has like a grip to it so it's gonna grip that foundation and keep it in place and so I take that foundation on my brush. I usually put it on the back of my hand, but I just put a dab on top of my brush. And you guys do not get scared because, baby, <laughs> just I warned you guys. I warned you. I warned you. It's very, very warm. But once I get done with it, baby, it's going to be all right. And then I noticed with their foundation, the color like changes it once you like finish blending it out. This is so orange, but it warm or whatever. And it's not my shade, but whatever. 
it does its job i know i look hello orange yeah i can go on and talk about me because i'm talking about my doggone stuff okay talking about myself okay and actually if i went by the comparison chart this would have been my color which obviously you can tell that it is not my more orange than I remember, honey. I don't remember it being this orange. Did I pick up the right color? This is real orange. I don't think I uh picked, picked up the right color, y'all. Mm -mm. I was assuming this was the color that I used on New Year's, but it's okay. Cause guess what? Casilla always come through and helps. Okay. Ugh. A epic failure already. So this is in the tart shape tape color in deep. I go in with deep. And then too, I don't know if it's because I got like this extra bright light right here i'm playing with my lighting guys um you know to try to change it up a bit you know what i'm saying um it's real and so i don't know if you guys can tell like those marks i have on my neck that's from when i had shingles I try not to put makeup down there for real, but I do have a concealer that I like to cover with it. And I know you're saying, how did she get shingles at such a young age? Cause I'm old, that's why. So this is tan sand deep and it's gonna bring my neutralness back out. So we're gonna let that get tacky. And I don't know if you can tell, like the foundation has oxidized and it's way darker now than it was. It's still a little orange, but it's darker. And those people that talking about her face doesn't match her neck and her body, but baby, once I finish, it will. Okay? Cause I don't never have that problem. Never catch Audra slipping. Period. Okay. Y'all like me doing a little talk through? Or well, y'all want the voiceover? I thought y'all can get a little bit more of my personality with the, you know, the, the talk through. So we're gonna take the Juvia's Place Concealer now. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer and number four. It has, it's like a warm room. A warm brown that I really really like and we're going to draw on our nails so I'm really big about this tell you something get you a nice nose contour okay the nose contour matters it matters people it matters it is important okay very much so important so I'm going to put that on my cheeks now some people be looking orange and know they orange and don't do nothing about it other oh, hand I'm gonna show y'all how to fix it especially if you done left out of Sephora with a sample or something and baby you get home and you look like this show you how to fix it even though you really need to take it back and get your real color but anyway so i feel like you guys have seen me blend out my contour millions of times it's nothing different um but i am going to give you guys an in-depth highlighting contour video i just really was wanting to focus on fixing this face honey because i was looking like a little so we'll get back into that later
Uh, I'm going to blend out my chin first. Blend it on out. Mm -mm. Then I'm going to go up here. I really wish the dogs would stop having a shout match outside. And one of those dogs is my dog. She's a... Okay. So I am going to take a little more of that tan sand here and here I'm going to put a little bit under my contour. It's not tan, it's tan sand deep. Let me get that right. Don't know dog skin girl need to be wearing no tan sand. Okay. Unless you really trying to be bright under the eye, okay? And you know, I like a little brightness under the eye. So I go, I tend to go lighter with my concealers. But you know, if you're not trying to, you know, be that extra baby girl, stick to deep. Deep is good. But somebody like me, I'm trying to be sitting under the eye, okay? And I do take it over my eyelid too. I just really don't do this a little bit because those dog marks really bother me sometimes. A little insecurity about that. Cause yeah. Face, neck, body match. And this was important. This is key, okay? So, now I'm going to do a little setting. I'm going to take that same brush that I use here to start setting my face. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place powders. This is in Na Nami Namib. And this is in Kalahari. Alright, as you can tell. The face is coming together. Let me lean back and block the light. It came together. Okay. Do I need to hold this up like this? Because as you can tell, face came through. Even with the incident we happened to have with the foundation. The face is here. Okay. Well, let's finish the face. Um... I like to really make sure I'm good and set, especially uh, when, you know, you have to go out, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that face didn't cut up on the down, you know, real quick. Okay, you so know. I'm just going to finish setting, guys. Everybody in my background was not trying to let me be great. My mama got on the phone. The dog's still shouting. It was just too much going on. So, so I'm just basically sitting everywhere I put concealer. And yeah, and just get ready to lay this extra layer of powder. So when I do my eyeshadow, the fallout will easily come off. My brows just got shaped probably two weeks ago, a week ago. So... Anyway, I'm using my Precisely My Brow Pencil in number 5. I highly recommend this pencil because look how small the tip is. So it's very easy to be very precise when you're aligning your brows as well as creating those hair strokes. So basically, I use that pencil to really define my brow. And it keeps also has been helping me um, to use this concealer when I'm doing cleanup. Um, and it just has been a very amazing product that I love. I'm using the shade in number five. Sometimes I use four. And now I'm going to start creating those hair like strokes in the front part of my brows. Because my brows are cut a little short. 
short in the front. Um, yeah, hair doesn't grow there. So, I like to fill it in and create those hair strokes to you know, give the imaginary brow. So, your brow is supposed to start here, and then your arch lays here. And then at the end of your brow, that's where your tail is supposed to be. So that's basically how you get an idea of how to measure your brows. And I kind of use that as a guide. So once brows are done, we're going to conceal them with a lighter concealer at the bottom to get that hard arch illusion and use a more skin light so once we finished those brows we set our I I just I really didn't set it I just took the leftover little powder off of my beauty blender and just set my eyelids real quick like that that's it boom so I am going to take the mother herself Pat McGrath oh don't y'all see my mess but her palette right here right here and so basically i'm going to take that shimmer mix it with that shimmer and place it on my lid and so if you saw what i had on on new year's eve i didn't have on gold but you're gonna see this gonna turn a little gold um as I put it on and I just really just pat it that I'm talking about I really pack it on okay Let's see if I can zoom in some out so I just really pack that shimmer on like that okay and this is what I did for the use yeah yeah I wanted to know and I just use that shimmer to like to really carve out my eye like that because I just wanted to be you know a little shimmery goddess I don't know if you guys can see it and I got a little fallout Cause, yeah, cause uh, I'm using this crayon case, small crease brush to do this. Yeah. When it gets towards the end, I don't really care about it because I'm doing a smoked out lash line, honey. But I am using this to really pack that. this is my favorite palette from makeup revolution it's very inexpensive so if you ball it on a budget baby get this one okay and i wanted to take this blue shimmery color because it had some like a little silver reflexes in it and i just really took it in the front part of my eye because i you know i feel like i need a little a little white or something a little blue shimmer with a little silver reflex and then you're gonna see me take it into my tear duct and under my eye like that And don't worry, you want it to go over your lid color. We're gonna straighten it up in a second because we're trying to make our eyelids look bigger than what they are. That's why we take it down there. So right now it's a little messy, but bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Be patient. You have to trust the process, girl. Now, I'm going to take my nose contour brush that I had 
and I'm going to do my nose contour. Now with this trick, I'm also, if you know and you've been watching my videos, you know I take my nose contour into my eye like that, into my crease. So that's what softens, you know, the, uh, the shimmers down and makes it blend. So it's like your lid is just like shimmery goodness, you know, without being so harsh. So that's what I do then. But uh, continue. And I'm using Mocha Mummy by Fenty to bronze my nails. I'm gonna use it to bronze my face as well. And you see I'm really carving out that shimmer always remember to put the cap on the liner okay always or you're gonna be like me trying to kill yourself right now but it's warming back up so and like i said don't have to be perfect this is great for people that do not know how to do a cat eye. Want that look though. But I ain't telling you to go crazy. You still got to have some kind of precision. Okay guys. When you do this. Okay. Now I'm going to take, take this flat wooden wild brush. And I'm going to take it into uh, this block, okay? And this is why I was saying it didn't have to be perfect because I'm really using my precision with the black liner and I'm really buffing the outliner out like so. Now we do have a cleanup process, you know? So. And I'm buffing it out with this and then I'm gonna smoke it out. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it out. After I buff it out with this um, eyeshadow. I'm going to smoke it out with something a little bit more fluffier. This is a little big to be smoking it out, but I'm gonna try to get the gist of it. Let me smoke it out with the brush, but I'm gonna take out the sun and clean up on the sharp. See, I feel like y'all yeah, just in all up in my business. And didn't know the Kool-Aid, didn't know the flavor. All up in my Kool-Aid, don't know the flavor. That zoom in, y'all really see everything. Okay, so I'm just getting all the excess powder and brushing it off on this brush here that I used to set to complete everything. So I really don't know if, um, and then I'm trying to get that with shimmer shadows. Hours ways remember you're gonna have some fallout so you have to brush it away um but I always set my highlight with a powder especially something that doesn't flash back but sometimes you know powders flash back whatever just life you know so you just gotta know what you're working with so I'm taking NW45 now. Everything in between. Everything in between. You know. And then we're going to really warm that face back up. With Mocha Mommy. So. I feel that. Okay, like I said before, you guys know this routine. I am warming up my face with Mocha Mummy. I'm 
also going to talk a little bit of that black radiance and deepen my contour, spray my setting spray by making the illusion to blend all those powders because I do not like that powdery look. Um, and it also helps the blending process of my makeup. And yeah. Alright, so we're finishing makeup highlighter from Dose of Colors. I'm chasing the sun, my fave. Morphe setting spray. Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Mascara from Urban Decay in the Provision Mascara. Really nice mascara. Alright guys, so I'm back and yes, I added my little hair do rat. My hair do rat that my friend made me. His name is Kalechi. Kalechi. Um, um you guys should definitely follow him. He's a designer. Um, he has designed things for Alyssa Sky, Cardi B recently, so that was exciting. And yeah, he's just really that guy. Um, and you should follow him, and he's my friend, so yeah, you should do it. So basically, I just added the lashes, and they add to look crazy right now, they throw on them gang signs right now, but. These are not like fr fresh pair of lashes, guys. These are like a year old, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, these this is the look with the lashes included. So pretty and fun for New Year's, it's like an iridescent sheen on your eye. Um, which I wanted to go for. Especially I was, you know, sparklingly down. I was real, you know, shiny, honey. I had my little shiny pants with my black blazer. Let's work on the lip and we're gonna complete this look. And so basically the lip, we did chestnut. Um, I mean, I'm a lips with chestnut. The chestnut. And you guys know I over overdraw my lips because I just like that drama with my lips. You don't have to do that. But baby girl does, okay? Okay. And then we're gonna take the AA Collection Nude Liquid Lipstick in brown sugar and then we're going to take clean kisses by crayon case it's like a nudie pink gloss you can also uh, use lip strobe uh, by the AA collection in the color so into you because it does the job as well and it gives it more of an iridescent kind of look as well and so yeah you know I like to bring my gloss up so my lips look extra pouting but this is the completed look. And this is exactly how I wore my hair. Well, it had more crimps in it. So, so yeah, this is my New Year's look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, don't forget to like me, comment, and subscribe. Please be sure to let me know if there's any more content or anything you have questions about. Let me know in the content, I mean in the comments below what you guys wanna see. It's 2020. It's all about self-care, self-love. We got a theme going, guys. Love yourselves, be there for yourselves, put yourself first. And yeah. 
so welcome to this journey if this is your first time to my page welcome 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 and yeah see you next time bye